Welcome everyone to another weekend cook along with yours truly in my little pecking kitchen. So today I'm going to show you how to make lasagna. Now I'm sure a lot of you have had that bog standard classical lasagna, red sauce, meat sauce. Well I'm not going to show you how to make that today, oh no. I'm going to show you how to make one of my specialty lasagna. Lasagna that I cook at my supper clubs down in South East London. And today I'm going to show you how to cook a puccini mushroom lasagna. I'm telling you, it's banging. Three, four easy steps in the oven, jobs are good. Em. So, that's what I'm going to show you how to make today. And in true Tiny Italian Weekend Cook Along fashion, I've got a wicked playlist today. I asked my mate Sophia, DJ Sky, to put together a 90s R&B mover playlist. So, if, if you like what you're hearing, head to my playlist and you can basically get it from there. And then, of course, it's liquid time, isn't it? This is one of my favourites, All Fired Up by Mac. Right, let's go. So before we start cooking, let's go through those ingredients one more time. So, we've got ingredients for the filling and we've got ingredients for the sauce. So for the filling, we're making a mushroom lasagna, so we need some good quality shrooms. So I've got a lovely box here of chestnut mushrooms, and to that I'm gonna add some puccini mushrooms. Now I know it's a puccini mushroom lasagna, but if you can't get any today, just make it up with some mushrooms, all right? To that we're gonna be adding some garlic and parsley. And I also fancy, if you've got them, some chilli flakes, some dry sage, and one of my good friends, Vino. Now, if you'd like to add some meat to this, you don't want a veggie lasagna, you can also add some pancetta or bacon, or a sausage. So I've got a little solo Italian sausage that's all on this iron, so I'm going to chuck it in today. Then, when we make this sauce, we're not making a tomato red sauce, no. We're making a white sauce, so for that, you need some flour and some butter and some stock cubes. Vegetable ones are great if you can get some. To that I'm going to be adding a little bit of lemon zest. Then all you'll need is some grated parmesan, some lasagna sheets, Evo salt and pepper, and there we go. Let's get cooking. Got a little bit of Janet. Right, so step one. I've got some beautiful puccini mushrooms in there. I'm using about 30 grams. So I'm going to pop that into my bowl. Now, we need to bring these bad boys back to life and the way to do that is by pouring hot water on top and rehydrate these babies. So, let's do that. And that will take about 15 minutes. So just leave it in there and then we'll pop on to the next part of um, the recipe. Right, so we are cutting up our mushrooms. So you can see, I'm not cutting them too thin. Let me just show you, I'm cutting them quite chunky because I want them to have like a meaty texture. I don't want them to be all soft and mush. So I'm cutting up about 200, 250 grams of chestnut mushrooms. Right, so if you're gonna add meat to your lasagna, then this is what you need to do first before you cook your mushrooms. So I've got some pancetta, smoked pancetta. I'm gonna add it straight to this frying pan. It's already on the heat. I'm not gonna put any olive oil on it because it's already got a bit of fat, so that should release when it cooks down and renders. And also, I've got a little sausage that I'm gonna just take the skin off and add it to my pan. That will crumble in and cook in with the pancetta. So I pancetta the sausage in my pan on a medium heat. I want that to get brown, I want it to get rendered, I want it to get sexy. And then, on to the next bite. So, my meat's cooked, with a slight spoon, I'm just removing it out of the pan. And then we're going to move on to cooking our mushrooms. So, in this pan, I'm going to cook them in the same pan, it's got lovely meaty juices and flavours. I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil because it's not enough fat in there to cook off those shrooms. With shrooms you need to put plenty of fat and a lot of high heat to caramelise these bad boys. I've also got some garlic which I'm also going to chuck in at the same time. Just going to add all these shrooms in. So my mushrooms have been cooking for about 2-3 minutes, slightly get a bit of colour. 
on the outside. Now I've got the teeny mushrooms that are now been sitting about 15 minutes. So with my hands, I'm just going to squeeze out the excess water. I'm going to add it to my other shrooms. But I'm not going to get rid of this water because this water can be really useful when making our stock later. That's if you're using the chili mushrooms anyway. If not, red stock's going to be fine. Right, adding them. Hot. Hot. Right, adding my mushrooms in, my chili mushroom. And now I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit of dry sage. I love the sage and mushrooms. I'm also going to add a bit of a kick to it. Add just a few chicken flakes, not too much. Now I'm going to add back in my meat, like that. Give it a little bit of a stir, and then can you see we've got all those sort of flavours at the bottom of the pan? So to do that, I'm going to add a little bit of white wine to deglaze it. So here goes, turn up that heat just slightly. Just going to pour it in freehand like that. And this. Oh my god, yes! Can you see now? All that beautiful flavour stuck in the bottom of the pan is now getting mixed in with those shrooms. Whoa! And that pancetta. That's our food pretty much done. I'm going to finish it off now with some fresh flat leaf parsley. Chuck that in. Just season it now. Just add a little bit of salt. A little bit of black pepper. And there you go. That's your filling. Right, so now we're moving on to our sauce. So the first thing you've got to do over here. Right, so over I love this tune. Right, so in here, I've added in the leftover water that our puccini mushrooms were soaking in. I've added that into that so it was full of puccini goodness. I've topped it up with enough boiling water to get 1.5 millilitres of liquid. I've added two stock cubes in there. Now that is on the heat simmering. Now I'm going to move over here. We're going to be making our sauce. So we're making a white sauce, not a red sauce. So a white sauce base is always fat and flour and then liquid. So when you, so I'm sure a lot of you have heard of the bechamel, right? So that would be butter, flour, and milk. Now, what the sauce we're making today is similar to a bechamel, but it doesn't have any milk. We're going to actually, the liquid part is going to be this beautiful veggie puccini stock that we've got going here. So let's let me show you what I'm doing. So in here, whoops. Right, so in here, I've added 125 grams of butter, which we're going to wait to melt down. So my butter has melted. I'm going to add in my flour. And then I'm going to quickly stir it into the butter so we create a roux. So a roux is a flour and fat mixed together. Right. Now we're going to add in our stock gradually, not all in one go. Add a couple of ladles first. And keep on giving that a good mix. I'm going to turn it onto a low heat so it's not bubbling away too much. But keep on stirring. Can you see it's getting thick? It's like creating this really kind of thick paste. Now it just means you just need to add in more stock. And you keep on doing that until you've got all your stock in your pan. And I'll show you what a lovely creamy sauce it gives you. Cool, the creamy consistency. We've still got half the stock to go, but can you see there are no lumps? So it's very important. I use one of these little whisks to do it. So if you've got something like that, it really helps to get out any lumps. So our velouté is now done. It's just on its final little boil, but can you see it's lovely, light, creamy sauce. And now I'm going to show you what we do with this next. Right, my bambino. So there it is. All the sauce has gone in with, into my mushroom and pancetta. This is the beautiful filling that we're going to use to layer up our lasagna. Just one final seasoning. Bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. A little bit more. And there you go, let's build our lasagna! One last ingredient to our sauce, I nearly forgot. Some beautiful lemon zest. So I'm putting in a zest of one lemon. And then we should be ready to go! Right, so first of all, pour in a couple of ladlefuls to the bottom of your lasagna dish because you don't want it to get stuck at the bottom. Let's add a little bit more. Right. 
Now I'm going to lay down my lasagna sheet. So I'm just using dry lasagna, but you can use fresh lasagna. Whatever you can get your hands on, guys. I like the stuff you don't have to pre-cook. It just makes it a lot easier. Right, so I'm going to add... Can you just see? This is, honestly, it is so easy to make. Just pour that on top. Like so. Okay. Some fresh parmesan on top like that. And that is it. Then we'll repeat it again. Until we've got all the layers, we've used up all of our lasagna sheets. is ready to go look at that a beautiful mush mushroom lasagna right so i've just preheated the oven to 220 bung it in there 20 minutes 25 minutes you want it lovely and crispy and brown on top you know the drill now turn up those tunes and rave it out we can't really rave this can you i was gonna beat it out i don't know slow dance to it out show you guys don't you worry don't you worry my little bambinos this look at that look at that beautifully and crispy lasagna right so before i go i'll obviously send a pic later of what it's meant to look like when you make a lasagna you should always let it cool down for at least five ten minutes let it solidify let those juices solidify so that when you cut it it should come out in like a beautiful like little stack let me just show you one more time before i go there you go thing of beauty i'm gonna put some fresh pasta on top just to give a bit of like you know a bit of color and that's it and that's another saturday weekend cook along done i want to say thank you to dj sky for providing an absolute amazing tunes today that's it really hope you have an amazing weekend keep safe be healthy love your lots and I'll see you later. Bye.